So um, I've got this uh, $90 phone from uh, China, which is the HomTom. And the video I wanted to do today was, is this phone good enough to run Minecraft? Um, they've now kind of released the new Minecraft Better Together update, which basically means that um, this phone can run exactly the same version as on PC, Xbox, um, and maybe the Switch. So I wanted to know, what is the cheapest device you can get to run Minecraft? And of course, people have always been using things like the Raspberry Pi or, you know, other devices. Given that this is only $90, um, I wanted to try out and show you that actually you don't need to spend a lot of money on um, a device to run Minecraft. Um, I am using a Samsung gamepad here. Um, ironically, the gamepad kind of costs almost as much as the smartphone does. Um, if you haven't seen my other video on when I did more of a review about this, this thing has 32 gig of storage and 3 gig of RAM. So plenty of space and enough to kind of stop you from, um, you know, the app closing down and stuff. The Wi-Fi is pretty good on this and so is the Bluetooth. Um, given that most really cheap Android devices don't tend to have either, um, I'm quite surprised. So I'm just trying the... Uh, creative mode here to kind of show you what single player looks like and then we'll get into the multiplayer that's new for the uh, better together update um so yeah as i said 30 to get a storage so you have a lot of space for you know running your own world um so that kind of gives you an idea of how long it takes to boot up and as you can see here you know it, it's pretty pretty smooth um you know i can bash that or try and bash that cow. Um, I would recommend using a gamepad. Um, I'm using the, the Samsung one here because um, it's a nice device that holds your, holds your phone snugly. Um, you can obviously get uh, much cheaper ones that kind of do the same job. Um, but you know, I, I like this one and this is kind of to show you how the performance. Um, I have turned everything off. Um, I've turned off fancy graphics, I've turned off um, the sky, I've turned everything off. Um, and yeah, so performance wise, it's okay. Um, not amazingly, um, you're not going to get the absolute best. Um, and I'm sure that, you know, if you have a bit more money, you get a better phone. But, you know, if you just want something basic, you know, you have, uh, you know, some younger children in the family and you just want to they want it in on the whole minecraft um you know phenomena you know minecraft on android is really cheap maybe what ten dollars um you know on android tv it's way more than that more like three times the price for what's now what the same version um you know and it's great it's it's um really playable so if we go back into um the main menu we can get into and kind of see what the uh, multiplayer is going to be like let me uh, exit this for a second um it does take a minute or two well come on so again you can uh, see the performance here so if we go into the servers here um these are basically um the only three community servers available at the moment um, as apparently you have to be an official partner of Microsoft um, if you want to be running your own server. Um, these three started off running kind of unofficial servers and then they've obviously partnered with Microsoft and um, you know you can now connect to them. So let's run this one and you can see the performance. Um, I do find that in the lobby it does really suck. Um, you've got a lot going on and to be honest I think most of the time, even on PC, that performance can be quite sucky. Oh, disconnect from the server. Let's try that again. And we are in. And you can see, you know, it takes a while to load. 
Um, it's the lobby area is really quite sluggish. Um, you'll find that people stop moving, um, and you know artifacts don't really load up properly. But you know, don't let that put you off because, to be honest, the lobbies you haven't really got a lot going on. Um, just find a game that you want. Uh, let's go into one of the more basic ones. There we go. And let's go and find a game of something. What's well, something really nice and easy? Um, I just want to show you a quick game of something. Um, because that way you can kind of see the performance online. So, you know, you've asked yourself, hey, I want this, you know, better together update and I don't want to pay a lot of money. And. How do you turn the sound down? One second. There we go. And, you know, you've heard about this great better together update and you want to pay a lot of money and you think, you know, what is the cheapest I can, I can get away with spending? And there we go. Look, I mean, the performance now, once you're in game and you're actually playing something, is actually pretty decent. Um, when I loaded up the lobby to begin with, I thought, nah, you know, this this definitely can't do it. I've completely written this off. But um, you know, this is this is perfectly usable. Um, I haven't actually played this before, so um, I don't don't pay any attention to what I'm doing. Um, I, I definitely wanted to be in that water. Um, but you can see it's really smooth. It's you know, no slowdown, no lag, it doesn't disconnect. Um, you know, $90 to play Minecraft on the go. Um, you know, this phone supports 4G and, you know, you don't have to use a controller. I do I do recommend using one though. Um, and yeah, so this is kind of, I think this is probably the cheapest way you can run Minecraft. Um, if you've got a better way or cheaper way, um, you know, don't forget this is this is now online. With the uh, the new update, you can basically take um, Minecraft out with you. You know this phone does support 4G, so you are going to get you know um, internet wherever you go. Um, and look, you know we're panning around. We've got lots going on here. There's a quite a large map. So I kind of hope that answers your question of can you pay not a lot of money and still really enjoy Minecraft? And for me, the answer is a definite yes. Um, is it a great gaming experience? I'm not sure, but um, you know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, or you know, you just want to get a load of these for the kids, and uh, you know, just let them spend hours playing Minecraft and all that stuff. You know, you don't have to get them a laptop. You don't have to get them a desktop PC anymore. It's right here. It costs forty dollars, not forty dollars, ninety dollars. Um, you know, and it's uh a great device so I do recommend it and you totally can play Minecraft better together on a $90 smartphone.